And welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day. And happy birthday to Mr. Raf Dako, Assistant Auditor General and the Regional Auditor of the Volta Region. A happy 60th birthday to you from Jennifer Anansaki. And the message is she loves you very much. And the music you just saw is Kofi Annan by William Kofi, also known as Lexicon. He doesn't have an album yet. What he has is what he calls Extended Play. And he's here to tell us a lot more about his musical journey. Good morning, Lexicon. Good morning. How are uh, you? I'm fabulous. How is yours? I'm doing well. Great. I mean, you've done this for a decade. How has the journey been like? Um, it's been rough. You know, everything worth um, doing doesn't just come easy. Mm -hmm. And if you want to also attain or achieve something in life, you don't just walk into a miracle. Mm -hmm. But you have to, you know, create it. And creating anything is, you know, it doesn't just come easy. Mm -hmm. not, we don't get it on a silver platter, I mean. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's been rough, you mm -hmm. know, and more so I wasn't fully at it. Mm -hmm. I was doing this be in between this, like the musical journey and also work. You know, I was in the corporate circles. So combining the two hadn't been easy. So I would mm -hmm. say, I mean, the journey hadn't been easy. But yeah, I'm told being a been... musician in Ghana, the struggle is real. Oh yeah, sure, 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 <laughs> sure. Because what of the opportunities, the they are basically part of the journey. So. That was the most challenging part of the journey. Oh, the most challenging, I would say, um, it's still about where um, I, I come from, where I hail from, you know, on the side of our globe, opportunities where are, are limited. From? I mean, coming from oh, okay. Ghana, Ghana as a black man, okay. an African for that matter, you know, the side of our globe, um, we need to really bully our way out, mm -hmm. you know, like, like that of the, uh, like a, a bulldozer to, to attain laurels. Um, even in the work, working field, in the corporate world, look at how limited jobs are. Mm -hmm. Not to talk of trying to um, find a voice to, 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 to achieve something greater. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's not been easy and that's um, I'm, I'm one of the most challenges I have. Probably yeah. maybe elsewhere it would have been easier. easier. You know, yes, mm -hmm. yes. You never know. Anyway, but what, what, what inspires your lyrics? I've heard your, we just saw Kofi Annan. I've seen Shatter Killer and I've also seen Coronavirus, your latest. What inspires your lines? Um, you know, black upliftment. I hail from the central region, Cape Coast specifically. Mm -hmm. So um, by the relics of slavery or slave trade, evidenced by the castle, you know, I almost always wanted to find a voice to um, speak up, you know, to uplift the, the black youth. I would say drip to... Mm -hmm. to, to, to differentiate, remind, inform, and persuade, mm -hmm. you know, the black youth through um, the, the, the musical medium. Okay. Yeah, so that's one, um, black upliftment, the, the zeal to have a voice uh, and be a voice for the voiceless. Okay, so... And also the, the, the spirit of the living God, the Holy Spirit. Okay. So your style is uh, reggae? Yes, I do reggae, contemporary reggae. Okay, so, but I see a, a bit of traces of, uh, what's his name, Black Rasta? Oh, really? Or oh, 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 you have nothing, oh, yeah, I mean, you don't um, admire him? We are also. friends, oh, Black Rasta friends? and I okay. are friends. But I um, mean, reggae music might look similar in one way or the other. I wouldn't say that, but I mean, that's what Because you he see, also then. champions Africanism. Yes. That's what I'm asking. Yes, I'm a new African. I'm a revived African, you know. Mm -hmm. Most of the times we feel black to the extent that we, we forgo the truth, you understand? Mm -hmm. So, um, the truth being Christ Jesus, that is what I stand for. And I believe that we can be black enough or mm -hmm. africanist enough mm -hmm. and still not neglect the truth which is christ jesus our lord and savior mm -hmm. and yes 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 so that's 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 have you collaborated or considered uh, collaborating with anybody yet any musician in ghana maybe any reggae artist yet i'm driven by purple so most of my music i do more of heritage songs and you know all of these okay. um, um if at any point in time we happen to cross paths or i happen to cross paths with anybody who has that same sense and I mean urgency and that, that same drive to purpose, probably we can have a collaboration. As but for stands, us yet, all my songs I'm I'm I'm, I'm solo. So as a stance, you don't see any purpose or any reason to collaborate with anybody. No, no, I, I mentioned that if we cross path, if I happen to cross path. You say you are driven by purpose. Yes, <laughs> sure. So oh yes, okay. I mean different artists might okay. also be. Okay. But my kind of purpose might, you know, be different. Okay. That's even when, why I started by saying I, I am to drape the youth, the black youth, mm -hmm. dif with differentiated music, you know, to remind, inform, and persuade them. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I am unique in my own way, mm -hmm. and so are other artists. So I'm just saying that if I meet other artists whose vibes 
are, are equal to mine or feel similar like yeah. our our purpose if you are all like in that you know same category as to my mission as in black upliftment and all of that then why not we can have a fusion okay so I'll, when we come back i'll ask you whether i mean the vibe is selling where people are buying into your vibe but sure. let's take a look at corona yeah. that is your latest release and i, I can sure. imagine that it's informed by the situation we are all faced with yeah, sure. so let's so that is Corona by Lexicon. Uh, it's a bit strange. I, I was hoping to see washing of hands and observing all the protocols, but I see him talking about Christ and this is not an expected Corona song. I mean, can you explain? Um, you see, um, coronavirus, everything that has that manifests in the in the physical has a spiritual connotation okay you see and um coronavirus is not just maybe from if you are looking at it from the angle with our eyes just that they being on the physical you might think it's just acid but i mean there are spiritual connotations you see um at the end of the day there's a plague that had killed um a lot of people worldwide yeah, so are you getting it yes so the land has been uh, um soiled you see, with innocent blood, if you look at the grand persecution, if you look at the edict of Milan, which was to Romanize the gospel and all of that, why now we have Vatican and all, mm -hmm. are you getting it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is more a more detailed uh, um, aspect or yes, of the corona other than the washing of hands. Okay. And this one, the, the key I've given in the song is repentance. Okay. That we are supposed to, you know, revive the land. We are supposed to crave Christ. We are supposed to uh, um, be more um, um, religious. We are supposed to adhere to the to the word of God and and to refrain from sin. You see, yes. Then mm -hmm. um, our land will be healed when we mm -hmm. we pray and we seek the face of the Most High. So that's you, basically what it is. I see. You're very spiritual. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Are you married? Do you have a family? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm married. I'm married. Um, with um, a beautiful wife. Uh -huh. um, shout out to my wife, Dr. Caroline okay. Manuela Ntiamwa. Do you have children? Yes, I have five kids. Five children? Yes, I have five children. Only you? Yes, I have five children. They're still counting, five, probably. And still counting? Yes, I mean, they, I'm a true long... Christian. And the word of God tells us to procreate. So I'm procreating. Filling up the earth. <laughs> so release an album on having children. Then. Why not? Why oh not? My God. It's not a bad so thing. You have it's five not a bad children. thing to have kids. Yes. And you're expecting a lot more. I'm still counting sons. I'm still married. Okay. You may never know. But I'm really <laughs> impressed about your style of music. I mean, mm. in this day, I mean, a lot of people want music that will sell really fast. Mm. But you want to take your time. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether the vibe is a lot now, mm. but you just want to take your time. You know, that's how it is. Most of the times, if you stand for the truth, you know, you are neglected by, by many and your friends are few. But um, if you stand, just as in the case of the martyrs, they, 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 they die for their principles, for okay. their cause. You see, I've tried commercial music before, gone at the days when I used to do uh, here, now, ooh, baby, oh, baby, oh, You understand? I've done vain <laughs> songs, yes. I've done vain songs in time past, but it took a divine encounter for, for me to change my path. Mm -hmm. Just as, um, like, Paul on the road to Damascus. Mm -hmm. You know, I met him, and you see, uh, I had to change from the turns that I used to do. And, Tell you us know, a bit about that divine encounter. Just a bit about that. Oh, it's just, it's just you know, an unsettledness in, in, in spirit that you need to achieve something. You see, when anytime you look around, I was looking at the industry and the status quo, I realized that I could go beyond the status quo. And anytime you feel edgy about something that, I mean, you can do it better than probably your competitors, then you have an anointing. You have the anointing to, I mean, pursue that very thing or craft. Mm -hmm. You see, so it started like, yes, that, that, that is one. Mm -hmm. And agency in spirit to, you know, proclaim what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I do more of heritage songs. I stand for Banfire, and Banfire simply means born an African nation for inner renewal and empowerment. And Banfire, the ban hints on our origins as Africans mm -hmm. and as black people. Mm -hmm. And the fire is suggestive enough for inner renewal and empowerment. Mm -hmm. That you see, before we can effect change outside, we need to effect change within. Are you getting it? So if there is no inner change, then we should forget it. Mm -hmm. You conquer yourself before you step out to even want to proclaim or preach virtues you see yeah so that's basically what it is though it's just a commitment it's just a feeling it's just you know an encounter that and for you it doesn't matter whether change. the applaud is loud now 
you just want to run this you race. know the one who have, who have called me will definitely see me through absolutely are you getting it that's what it is so i i don't yes i'm a lot a lot of my resources is going into this promoting i mean getting videos i'm probably recording, but we are doing this for you for you free you know getting <laughs> oh yeah sure 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 and timmy three is one um a, a medium i would really like to applaud <laughs> i mean yes you've for been you've been a help you. yes a helpmate um with regards to yes the other time you featured me on prime news with the Kofi Annan extract and you know so I'm, I'm 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 highly elated to have met you and very grateful for the support being you're given. welcome all sure. the time sure. william Kofi, also known as lexicon yeah. i'm really proud of you and i really wish you all the best thank you so you know much. so support his music go on youtube look for coronavirus look for shata Killer and Kofi Annan all by william Kofi, and a few other people a, a few other of his songs he doesn't have an album yet but he's hoping to release one soon so we want you to support his music career and he says he's he wants us to revive the land when it comes to coronavirus not just you know he wants to revive the land he wants to cure he wants to chase christ it means that i mean we shouldn't just look at washing our hands and all that we should repent we should, we should repent and give you want to say something oh yeah sure okay just say quickly yeah so um yes up. lexicon is for it's for black renaissance it's for okay. rebirth lexicon is for i mean new new africanism is for it's for it's for uh, um differentiation is for it's for strength upliftment that's what lexicon is for and that um repentance is key we've done a lot and um it's high time you know we change from our ways and rather do the things that would rather yield i mean positivity and also uplift ourselves you know the black race have been the race that have been relegated to the background mm -hmm. for a very long time you see and we can't keep on going like this look at the crisis the issue about george floyd you see they don't respect us but it's high time the black youth stand up you know for what is right you know it's we are not fighting with guns and bombs and knives rather, rather this fight is about you know hailing up it's about standing up raising yourself up uplifting yourself you know setting dreams and i mean targets and trying to i mean want to achieve them also um I would like to express my gratitude. Yes, first of all, to my wife, Dr. Caroline, uh, in, in, in Tia Mwakofi. Um, to my brother, Raskun Kunash. Yes, um, to Raja. Yeah, man, big up. Thanks for the support. I can imagine the list yes, is very yes, tall. Yes, it's a very <laughs> tall list. Yes, yeah, sure. William um, to, Yes, yes. To Nature, Red Eye, my producer, Charlie Big Up. Yes, to all the Cape Coast Massive and the Bonfire Dynasty. Charlie, hold up, Traka. Thank you very much. Thank you to William yeah, Kofi, man. Lexicon, and I wish you all the best, okay? Yeah. So, happy birthday once more to Mr. Ralph Darko, Assistant Auditor General and Regional Auditor of the Volto Region. A happy 60th birthday to you. And this is from Jennifer Anansaki. There's a lot more coming up. Ms. G will join us shortly with entertainment. Don't go away.